Make a baby. So I imagine it's probably gonna be similar. Oh, they are so ugly. Ow! I'm sorry about the other one. You have problems. It's not ugly, it's beautiful. I lied. Stop trying to attack me, it's not nice. Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today we're actually checking out the exotic birds mod. So basically it adds in tons of awesome birds, cool models, you can tame some, you can breed them. Seriously, they look amazing. This is going to add a bunch of excitement and life into your world. Because normally guys, there's not too many bird mods and this is probably the best one. So I was excited to show you. And by the way, we are starting the showcase over here because they're incredibly loud. If you put them next to each other, you guys never shut up. So yeah guys, if you're excited for one of the best bird mods ever, definitely crush the like button. That would be awesome and really appreciate it. But first up, this is a parrot. Look at that. The models are so good on everything too. You can actually tame these. I tamed like three of them. You see them like standing up. They love me. So this is what you gotta do guys. Get yourself some seeds. It's pretty simple and you can have your own parrot pet. So I'm gonna grab this one over here. All you have to do is right click it. And bam, you have a new pet that's going to follow you around. If you right click the dude, he will sit back down or stand up and actually follow you. That is sick. You can have a parrot that's going to follow you. But guys, keep in mind, this is not a fighting pet. A parrot is not meant to fight. He will die. As you can tell, the parrots are actually following me around. But the thing is, they don't fight. If they did, that would be awesome. But it would be really freaky at the same time. So these dudes are pretty cool. You can have them around your house and stuff. I wouldn't recommend bringing them anywhere too dangerous because they will die. Don't want that happening to you guys. So guys, also, you can kill him. If you want to kill this dude, you can get this, which is raw small bird meat. And then you can cook that and get some pretty good meat. So if you eat this, check it out. Then we get a bar and a half. Not that much because it's a tiny bird, but pretty useful if you see a ton of birds around. You know, just, you know, take out one you don't like. Don't like you too much. Really sad when I did that. Another thing you're going to notice is every single bird does drop eggs and sometimes you're going to see nests in trees which is going to be the coolest way to actually get birds into your world. So basically, if you find an egg, bam, baby birds. And it's not going to work every time, it actually worked there which I was pretty lucky. Pretty lucky on that one. But guys, this right here is an eggshell. It's kind of like bone meal, pretty similar, it does the same thing. It's pretty much like a chicken egg and this is going to work on every single kind of bird. You could have like a farm of them or something. Next up, we are checking out the peacock, and as you guys probably already know, there is a male and a female version, and only one of them has the feathers. And check this out, this is really cool. Right click it, feathers, bam. It's not even tamed. You can't tame this one, but you can make the feathers come out, which is kind of weird. Normally, if you pet one, I don't know if they do that, I wouldn't recommend trying it at the zoo. So for this dude, guys, you can't tame it, but you can breed it if you want to. It's done with seeds once again, so let's make babies happen. Go for it. Come on. Get oh, it came out. Let's just maneuver it over. I want to see the child. What does it look like? It's so little. That is, it's kind of ugly. I'm sorry. I do like how it has a different model. and It's just not like a small version of the bird. So with these dudes, once again, you can't kill them. And actually, in this mod, it's super important to kill the peacocks, which sounds terrible. But I'll do it. I'll do it. They can drop their feathers. And there we go. So this is actually so you can get a special bird book, which you're going to see right here. So this is an encyclopedia of birds. To make it, you are going to need a book and a peacock feather. And this is going to tell you about everything in the mod. So if you guys don't pay any attention right now and you download the mod, you can use this and it gives you all the information. It's got pictures. It tells you about the birds, how everything works. It's really cool. I'm sure you guys already noticed every single bird has some really cool sound effects. So, I mean, the world is really going to feel alive as you're, like, exploring around and stuff like that. You don't even have to breed them or tame them. It's just going to make it more exciting when you go around places. So, guys, one more thing here. This one is going to drop large bird meat, which is better than the previous one because it's bigger. Bigger is better. We all know it. Let's eat this. And we get tons of hunger back. Oh, my God. Every single bar. I had three and a half bars that needed to get recovered. Got every one from that. So next up, we are on to the swan. And this one, you are going to notice, spawns in the water. And they all have different colored beaks and faces. I see orange right there, yellow face, and black beak, and this one, don't hide it, bro. It's nice, I like your beak, now show it to me. So this one, I'm really struggling with this, completely black. So all different colors, tons of different varieties with this one. There isn't a way to breed it, I thought there would be, but sadly, these ones are just going to be spawning in the water around your world. And once again, guys, you do have the option of killing them to get their meat. There is going to be plenty of different ways to get food in your world if you install the Exotic Birds mod. And I'm sure you guys noticed already, every single bird does have its own sound effect. Oh, this one is so sick. Okay, so this is the woodpecker, 
it literally will peck trees, but it's scared of people. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. All right, so we got a woodpecker. Be very careful. If you see it near a tree, don't just run into it. I'm gonna try to get it to work for the video here. All right, come on. And it attaches itself to the tree. Let's see if we can hear it peck. I'm waiting for it, bird. Don't be afraid. Peck that tree. There we go, look at that. That is pretty cool. So this one is actually scared of people. So you might want to be careful of that. It drops small bird meat. The swan, obviously, large bird meat. So can I breed these dudes? I'm going to try. You can see they're different colors. I don't think I can do it. Apparently, you can't breed this. I swear it said you could breed this one with seeds on the paint. Okay. What are you attached to now? That was creepy. I thought for a second it grabbed onto the cassowary. So basically, if you go near these dudes, they are going to run away. They do not like people, so probably not the best for breeding anyways. And obviously, I meant fly away because clearly the dude is not running on the ground. But you could kill them. They're kind of annoying because they peck constantly. There might be a tree next to your house in Minecraft and it might torture you. But that's inhumane. You must chop the tree down instead. Then it will have nowhere to live. Then you can eat it. And as an example, I will take its meat from its body. So once again, you can get some meat. That's nice and really terrible at the same time. But next, guys, we are on to the cassowary. You may have seen this in the ore spawn mod. It's that weird bird Jen calls it turkey. It's kind of similar. Not really. This is actually an aggressive bird. It's the only one in the mod. If you attack it, it's coming for your head. So let's try this out. So we're going to grab this. We're going to put it down. You think you're so tough, bird? You got beef? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. It's mad. So this thing, it's not happy. You just quack. Taking it out. It's not really that tough, as you can tell, but I do have armor on. Should we try it naked? Let's do this. How hard does this bird actually hit? About to find out. Yeah, it could be tough. It's, it's your first day, and you're like, I want to get some meat. This might not be the best choice of bird to go after. Are you trying to kill me, bro? Let's do this. Make a baby. So I imagine it's probably going to be similar. Oh, they are so ugly. Ow! I'm sorry about the other one. You have problems. It's not ugly. It's beautiful. I lied. Stop trying to attack me. It's not nice. The next one is called the Kingfisher. And this is probably one of the coolest ones because it can literally catch fish, which you're going to see in a second. I'm going to be in creative for this. We're actually going to go near the water so we have a higher chance of this actually working because it doesn't happen all the time. I'm going to spawn in a ton. And let's see if they can do it. Let's do it. Kingfisher, really cool looking bird, on occasion dives into the water and will pick up a fish. It can even pick up a puffer fish. Really open for this in the video. I'm just going to spam these in until someone picks up a fish. Oh my god, it's got a puffer fish. You see that, guys? One of them actually caught a fish. Come on, why do you have to be so far away when I'm trying to go after you? So this one right here actually dived into the water and grabbed itself a puffer fish. Sorry, we don't have a good view. They run around like crazy, but that is such a cool feature. And I don't know, it's one of those little things in Minecraft that's gonna make it more exciting as you're traveling around, seeing like a bird actually like go down and catch a fish. It's just so cool. Once again, you can kill this dude. It's really not that easy. I recommend a bow and not to be flying around and creative, trying to take one out. So they do drop a small amount of meat, which is kind of cool. And yeah, it's a really cool bird. I love that it can actually catch fish. So you get some tiny meat, which can be pretty helpful. But we are heading over here to the toucan. And really, guys, every single one is going to drop eggs. So you can get like bunches and bunches of birds and kind of collect them all. So this one, you can breed it with seeds. We're going to try it out. Let's do a little toucans. They have different colored beaks. This one has like a cool green beak. That is sick. Apparently, you can't breed them. I checked on the Minecraft forums page. It says that they like seeds, but they will not take them. But the good thing is, I mean, they do lay eggs. You can get multiple if you want to, and they look pretty cool. I like them. So once again, you can't kill them for a small bird meat. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. You guys know what it looks like. You know what it does. These birds are so loud, though. That's incredible. Okay, so the next one is the Roadrunner. Very fast bird that will run away from you. So I'm going to let it out. We'll see what happens. They are going to run. Go for it. Go for it, bird. Oh, it's actually going after the seed. Look at this. It is trying to get my seed, but it doesn't actually eat it, which is kind of weird. You think it would be for breeding, but actually the bird just follows you around trying to take my seed. Well, have it. Take it. Take it. You can have it. Let's see if it runs. So once the seed isn't in your hand, it is going to run for its life. That is the only way to get the Roadrunner near you. So you're going to see these dudes running around super quick in your world. And let's see what they drop. Let's do it, and we get some giant bird meat. So once again, another good amount of food you get from that dude. But the only way to get close to them is with seeds in your hand. Actually, guys, the interesting thing is the toucans, once again, you can't tame them with this. 
But if you have seeds in your hand, they love it. They'll follow you around the world. So if you want to like bring them into like an area and start like some kind of bird farm or something like that, you definitely can do it with seeds. They'll follow you across the lands. But we only have one bird left and that one is the magpie. Sometimes picks up stuff and actually, look, some of it's dropped on the ground. There is a piece of paper and an iron ingot. You spit that out. All right, we gotta try this. Let's go into creative and see what kind of items they can get. So once again, this is pretty cool. Randomly, they're gonna spawn an item in their mouth. All you have to do is punch them and they drop it. All right, so magpie, let's see what you can do. Let's get a bunch. And on rare occasion, they will pick something up. I wanna see it. Check this out. This one has an iron ingot in its mouth. Oh, and this one a piece of paper. All you gotta do is smack it with an open hand. It seems cruel. But it's the only way to do it. And really cool. I love how they can just randomly pick up items like that. It's such a sick feature. Can we breed these dudes or only tempt them? No, we can breed this one, guys. So basically, seeds once again. And you can make a baby. I see like a gold ingot in that one's mouth. Really cool. So many different things you can do with this mod, as you can tell. Please don't follow me anymore. So if we do kill one, I believe this one drops giant bird meat. It doesn't seem that big, but it does drop some good stuff. Let's try it. Let's kill one. Only one. I'm going to get you, bro. Giant bird meat. It's bigger than the actual bird. It's crazy how big that is. But, guys, that is all the birds. But there is a couple other really cool things in this mod. I mentioned before, there is bird nests in trees. So, you can actually get eggshells, which you guys saw before when you, like, break an egg on occasion. So, this is pretty much bone meal, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Let's do it. Bam, and the grass grows. So, kind of cool to get another bone meal version in the mod. And, of course... We can go up to this tree. I put a couple down so you guys can see. These will spawn naturally in your world, and you can get eggs out of them. So really, all you need to do is just break this. Let's go for it. And bam, we got like a stick and an eggshell. It's going to be completely random, but on occasion, there is going to be eggs in there. I got two sticks and an eggshell right there. You know, maybe the one on the bottom is good luck. Let's go for it. Don't kill me. I'm good. Let's go for this one, and bam. Oh, man. But yeah, guys, they are going to spawn naturally in your world. There is a chance that you will find eggs in them. And if you don't, I mean, there's birds all over the place. They spawn like crazy. They drop their own eggs all the time. I see them like all over the place. Like that one right there. Let's see if there's any other ones around. I know most of the birds are gone at this point. But there was a ton of eggs as we were going through the review. And guys, there is actually one more item in the mod. I'm not starving or anything. You know what? This is a perfect test for the giant meat. How much hunger does it actually give you? Let's go for it. Oh, so it's four bars, guys. That is really good. So this is a work in progress item. It is a storage egg machine. So the thing is, at the moment, it actually does not, like, sort them. It's supposed to sort them. You're supposed to, like, put it in here, and then it's supposed to get sorted. But right now, you can kind of just toss all your different eggs in here and stop that. It's kind of just like a mini chest for it, but it looks pretty cool, too. And once again, guys, toss these down. Chance at getting yourself a bird. Doesn't happen every time. It's just like the chicken egg. All right, come on. There we go, we got a little baby toucan. So a cool way to get like little pets and stuff for your world. Anyways guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. It adds in tons of exotic birds that are going to make your world more exciting and feel more alive. Plus they do some really cool things too, like picking up items. You could tame some of them, you could breed some of them. Lots of different stuff to do with this mod guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely crush that like button and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.